Hello and welcome to this video that provides a step-by-step -step guide for Windows Server 2003 Domain Controller and DNS Server Setup. Windows Server 2003 includes all the functionality customers expect from a mission-critical Windows Server operating system such as security, reliability, availability, and scalability. In addition, Microsoft has improved and extended the Windows Server product family to enable organizations to experience the benefits of Microsoft.NET, a set of software for connecting information, people, systems, and devices. This tutorial will explain how to create a first domain controller in your network or company includes DNS Server Setup in Windows Server 2003. You have to install DNS Server for DC without DNS. The client computers won't know which one is DC. You can host DNS on a different server than DC. Before starting the domain controller installation process, you need to make sure the following points. You have installed basic Windows Server 2003 installation. Make sure you have assigned a static IP address to your server. Now start the domain controller and DNS setup process. First, you need to go to Start, All Programs, Administrative Tools, Manage Your Server. Here you need to select Add or Remove a Role. Select Server Role as Domain Controller option, click on Next. Active Directory Installation Wizard, click on Next. Click Next on the Compatibility window. Next window, select the default option of Domain Controller for a new domain and click Next. In this tutorial, we will create a domain in a new forest because it is the first DC, so keep that option selected. Now we have to think of a name for our domain. If you have a domain like windowsreference.com, you can use it, but it isn't suggested because computers inside of your domain may not be able to reach the company website. Active Directory domains don't need to be real domains like the one above. They can be anything you wish, so we'll create a domain IST815. Now in order to keep things simple, we will use Windows Reference, which is our default selection, as the NetBIOS name of the domain. The next dialog suggests storing the AD database and log on separate hard disks, and you can just leave the default settings. The SysVol folder is a public share where things like .msi software packages can be kept when you will distribute packages, and you can just leave the default settings or you can change the path. Next, here you need to select the permissions for the Win2003 server. If you have any NT4, select first option, otherwise select the second option. The restore mode password is a single password that all administrators hope to never use. However, they should also never forget it because it's the single password that might save a failed server. Click Next. Now you will see a summary of what will happen. Active Directory installation process started. This can take several minutes. It's likely that you will be prompted for your Windows Server 2003 CD for DNS, so have it handy. Active Directory installation finish. Screen click finish. Now you need to select Restart Now option to reboot your server. After rebooting, you can see the new option for logon. After logging in, you can see similar to the following screen saying your server is now a domain controller. That's it. Now your server is configured as a domain controller and DNS server.